express an ordinary given statement as percent. To do the calculations or to do the problems, involve problems in this percent and percentage, you should know this basic thing first. Ordinary statement to convert as a percentage or percent. See one example, like 7 out of 35 children are absent. Children are absent. Now question is express this statement as percent. This one I want to convert as a percent. 7 out of 35. 7 out of 35 the meaning is 7 by 35. 7 divided by 35. We write in simplest form. 7 1 is 7. 7 5 is 35. No? So 1 by 5. So 1 is 1 out of 5. That means 7 out of 35. Now to convert this as a percent we should make the denominator must be 100. Now denominator is 5 with this. So it's not 100. So 1 by 5 if you multiply with 20 5 into 20 is 100. Same multiply for the numerator. Now this is 20 by 100. So whenever you get the denominator is 100. Now this exactly equals to 20 out of 100. 20 by 100 is 20 out of 100. Right? So 20 percent. 20 percent children are absent. So we should make the denominator as 100. That means to convert any ordinary given statement as percent. First up express the given statement as fraction. Okay, this is the fraction. Express the given statement as fraction. Then convert this fraction into equivalent fraction with denominator 100. So this is the one way. And every time denominator is unable to make exactly equal to 100. So in that case to convert into the percentage. Now say 4 by 10. This is to convert into percent. Just take the 4 by 10 multiply with 100. Keep the percentage symbol. 100 percentage. 4 by 10 into 100. Just to cancel this. 0, 0, 4 into 10. So 40 percent. 4 by 10 is nothing but 40 percent. Even here also same. Now it's 1 by 5 right. Previous. 1 by 5. Just multiply with 100 and keep the percentage symbol and calculate. Right? 5 times 1, 5 times 2 is a 10, 20. So 20 percent. Same it is. Making the denominator as 100 and 20 out of 100 is 20 percent. So 1 by 5, if you multiply with 100, that is 20 percent. So to convert fraction to percentage, multiply with 100 and keep the percentage symbol. Right? Even the show different uh, ways in this one, one by one. For example, 120 percent is given as fraction to convert as a fraction. Previous one, fraction to percentage, we did multiplication with 100. Now, percentage to fraction, we should divide with 100. So, take 120 divided by 100. 120 divided by 100, 0, 0 cancel, 12 by 10. So, 6 by 5. So, 120 percent as fraction, no, 6 by 5 as the converting. 120 percent as fraction is 6 by 5. Right? Not only this, even decimals also. Like, for example, 3.6 percentage as fraction. So, we'll take 3.6 divided by 100. You simplify now. This is 36 by 1000. Mm. So, 9 by 250 percentage to fraction so two simple things fraction to percentage you should multiply with 100 and percentage to fraction divide by 100 right even 8 1 by 3 percentage is exactly equals to mm, so 3 8 is a 24 1 25 by 3 percentage so 25 by 3 whenever if you remove this percentage symbol by 100 so there is 1 into 1 by 100 nothing but so 25 by 3 into 1 by 100, 25 times 1, 4 is so 1 by 12. 8 and 8, 1 by 3 percentage in fraction is 1 by 12. Even decimals, 5 percent to convert into the decimal. First percentage to fraction you convert, that is 5 divided by 100. 5 divided by 100 is 5 times 1, 5, 20. So 1 by 20, if you do division, then 1 by 20 is 0 0.05 because 5 by 100 no 0 0.05 after converting fraction then you can convert into the decimals
okay this is the important thing converting from fractions to percentage so to convert any fraction so fraction to percentage to convert that just suppose to multiply with 100 and percentage to fraction that is divide with 100 okay these two things you remember most of the statement or word problems you can use this concept next we'll see those other concepts including the problems now